Hi, this is Nick Weiner, the Director of Open Initiatives at Octo and the Project Director from Archive. And I'm going to show you how to uh, fix a paper that's been rejected in Markive. Uh, so here you can see I'm logged in to the Markive Papers account under my colleague Ray Everard's account. Um, so Ray uploaded a paper for me uh, that I rejected, and I'm using that paper to show you how to fix it. So I'm logged into my OSF account here under Ray's account. So I'm gonna to go to my OSF projects here. And you can see it shows me the full list of OSF projects. So I don't care about projects so much, I care about preprints. So I'm gonna click over here in collections and go to all my preprints. And you'll see that uh, my preprint is showing up right here. So I'm gonna click that. And you'll see I'm going to load the rejected preprint right here. Uh, so this is Ray's thesis. And you can see here that the moderator feedback I left her was that her complete abstract did not copy paste in. So what I'm gonna do is, under Ray's account here, um, again, I'm pretending I'm Ray. So I, as Ray, I'm gonna go edit her paper. And I'm gonna go here to the abstract, and I'm just gonna re-copy and paste a new abstract in. Okay, so there we go, so full abstract is here. I'm gonna click Save and Continue. And you'll notice here at the bottom that since I made those changes, if I click return to paper, it just takes me back to return to paper. So I made those changes. Uh, so it's important to note that you just need to email us to let us know that you've made those changes. So you could either email support at Markive or support plus Markive at osf.io and OSF will send that to us. Or you can just email me directly at nick at octogroup.org. Uh, either one, just let us know that it's, it's been resubmitted. You can also let us know on Twitter, at Markive Papers. Uh, now, let's say there was an error with your actual uh, preprint file that you uploaded. So if you need to change your preprint file, what you can do is go up here to the paper file and click to edit. And I can just drag in a new paper file up here. Now, it's important to note that the paper files must have the same name as the original when you upload them again. So you can see here that the uh, paper file that was uploaded, uh, sorry, if I click discard changes here. Here we go. So you can see that my paper file here was thesis Everard Washington, blah, blah, blah. So I can just copy all that and whatever new paper file I'm gonna upload, just make sure I rename the paper file to that and just replace it up here and that'll come up as version two. Um, again, uh, when you have a paper rejected from archive, just make sure you come in this way and then after you make those changes, just email us and let us know. Again, that's nick at octogroup.org. Thank you.